Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Canon SX230 HS. It was introduced in uh, February of 2011. It's functionally identical to the SX220, but the 230 has built-in GPS. So that's kind of neat. One of those cameras, I was not looking for it. I'm prowling a thrift store, seeing what they've got. Ran across this guy. It had a battery and an SD card in it, but no charger and no charge. So brought it home, and by modifying the plastic a little bit, I was able to charge it up using the charger from a Canon SD1000. So that was kind of cool. So then I broke down, bought a cheapo uh, online charger. It's 12 megapixels, uses a 1 over 2 thirds inch sensor, it's 6.17 by 4.55 millimeters, uh, uses SD cards. Uh, it's got a back illuminated uh, CMOS sensor and a Digic 4 processor. The predecessor to this actually had more pixels, it was 14 megapixel, but it was a CCD sensor. So they backed it off. I read that that was for low light performance. It has a nice zoom lens. Uh, it's 28 to 392 millimeter equivalent. It's got image stabilization. They claim it's good for four stops. It seems to work pretty good. I've shot mostly handheld with this guy. And when you're set to wide, it'll go down to five centimeters uh, in macro mode. The aperture is not great, but not bad for a point and shoot. It goes from f3.1 to f8. And when you're zoomed all the way, it's a little bit weird because then you only get f5.9, 7.1, and f8. I don't know for sure, but since it only goes to f8, I suspect it has a neutral density filter in there. One of the reasons I picked it up um, it does do 1080p video at 24 frames per second, and it has stereo microphones. So it's not bad. I was thinking I might use it um, for shooting these videos, but it's also got the thing where this is the door that holds the battery and the SD card. So if it's on a tripod, you can't get to it. ISO goes from 80 to 3200 and you can do exposure compensation, plus or minus two stops in uh, third EV steps. It's got your usual uh, program, audio, auto exposure, uh, shutter priority, aperture, aperture priority, and it does do manual, that's pretty sweet. It has a bunch of scene modes and effects, too many to talk about, so I'll list those below and put them over on the blog. Stock, it does not shoot raw, but there is a nice version of uh, CHDK, Canon Hack Development Kit. So I have that on the SD card, and it's nice to switch between them. All I have to do is slide the right protect on the SD card. When it thinks it's right protected, it boots to the uh, CHDK, slide it to right enable, and it boots normally, so that's pretty cool. When you turn it on, the flash always pops up, even if you had flash disabled when you turned it off. And a lot of times, I'm just holding it, not thinking about it, turn it on, and it doesn't hurt anything, but then if you need the flash, um, you gotta pop it up yourself, or turn it off and back on. The flash has three different power levels. You gotta get down in the shooting menu to monkey with it, but it's there, it's pretty cool. Standard modes, it has auto on for fill flash, it always fires off, and slow sync. It's good from uh, 75 centimeters to three and a half meters uh, when you're at wide, and then uh, one to two meters when you're zoomed. The metering's pretty good, it does evaluative, where it kind of figures out the scene for you, or it'll do center weighted, and I don't remember what the percentage of center, center weighting is, and spot metering, which I use a lot. So it's really nice to have that on a little point and shoot. 
There's no viewfinder or even electronic viewfinder, but the LCD is not bad. Uh, it's three inch and it's uh, 461,000 pixels. Over here under this door on the side, um, you get a standard uh, mini USB, yeah, mini, not micro, and then the small HDMI, and it's got uh, stereo audio and composite video out. One thing I was a little worried about on this camera, I don't know if you can see in this light, but the lens surround is a little dinged up, and it's got the little leaves that uh, cover the shutter. They're not much protection. That's more a dust cover. Anyway, it was dented in, so the blades of that lens cover have scratched the front element of this lens. And I cleaned it up pretty good, but in this light you can really see the scratches. They don't show up on the pictures too much unless you're shooting into the light or any kind of situation where it's going to flare. Um, most shots you can't tell at all. Not bad for, I think I paid 12 bucks for it. Took a chance, got an SD card, and it's a decent little shooter. And because it's already a little bit beat up, I don't mind, you know, tossing it in the car. And then I've got something besides my phone for when I finally see Bigfoot. So, on to the next camera, and I will see you then.